Guess who's back? Hello and welcome to my channel. You're probably wondering why there was no video, a single video, uh, within those two months. And if you watched like last video or second to last video, you probably know that I was in Germany for about two months and I was working there so I couldn't really do any video but in that time uh, I was making a video about Kinera, Idun, Odin and Nana and I made the Nana and Odin and really didn't have time to make Idun and also I have to make a video about this boy which is the Olympus 50mm f1.8 and sorry about the autofocus but I really have to use it right now because I have lots of stuff to show you here. As you probably can see my finally end game, I mean end game over your headphones are here which is DT1990. I finally have them and I'm gonna make a video about them soon. Uh, this this is actually my new setup for video. As you can probably see we have the full monitor we have the battery, and this is the actual cable uh, for HDMI, here we have dummy battery, so I'm actually planning to use this as my, you know, video setup. So yeah, the camera goes here, we have quick release plates and all that stuff. We need two things to complete it fully, which is a lens and audio system, which actually gonna arrive tomorrow, which I'm really happy about. Uh, here we have, you know, random stacks, so <laughs> yeah, we're gonna make a video about those two. And also we have this package. What's in this package? Well, as you probably remember, I have I think I told you, I have a DAP. And this DAP is right here. So this is my DAP I was using for last two and a half years, I think. And this is actually my very first DAP and I consider it to be like the beginning of my audiophile uh, journey, like the full fledged audiophile journey. This is X-Duo X32. And it's a uh, 2018 DAP, I think. I don't remember really. So yeah, this DAP is actually really damn nice. For 100 bucks, you're getting pretty much everything you wanted from functional standpoint of a DAP. It's small. It has 13 hours of battery. It has two-way Bluetooth 4.2. I think it was one of the very first devices that actually had two-way Bluetooth, which is really nice these days. It has USB Type-C, a physical line-out, and it packs 210 milliwatts at 32 ohms. It's kind of noisy for something like Andromeda, but still, it packs a lot of power for 13 hours of battery life, which is pretty nice. And since like a year I was looking for a replacement because you know audiophile are like still craving for an upgrade so I was looking for a replacement and I really couldn't find a direct replacement of it because I was like looking for the X160 which is garbage and I'm gonna make a review about it because I don't want any single person to spend money on that piece of crap which is the X160. I also had the original R3, I mean, of course, for testing, I had M11, M15, as you remember, I had Shenling M5S, M6, uh, lots of stuff, but it was, like, most of them was rather too expensive or too bulky, I, I like that size, I, I mean, my hand is, is huge, but I like dabs of that size, so there wasn't, like, really the compelling upgrade to this, like, a upgrade that will actually upgrade every single feature of this DAP. Until now. I mean almost, but we're gonna get to it. So this package holds my new DAP, which is actually also a new DAP because it was <laughs> released like two weeks ago, and we're gonna unbox it today. And this is gonna be only the unboxing, like first impressions, because you know, you have to burn in stuff, you have to sit with it, listen to it, to all the details and all that stuff. And this thing, this small boy, yes, it's small, spoiler alert, packs a lot of punch. So we're gonna unbox it right now. So now we are quickly going to my desk to unpack this thing. And I'm also trying to find some, you know, uh, actual color for paper. Everything that would actually upgrade my product photography because... Uh, I always want to upgrade because, you know, life is about, you know, learning stuff and doing everything that you're doing even better. So, yeah. And let's see what's inside. A lot of foam. And under that foam is... What is that? Uh, this is case. Case for what? For a DAP. 
Which is? Do, 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 do. Hold up. There's the box. We don't need it. We need this. Cayenne N3 Pro. So you probably know if you're talking about audio industry, if you're talking about pro equivalents of products, then we're talking about products that already exist, but they have some minor changes, minor upgrades or degrades like Fio M11, for example, did with their dual micro SD slot. Like they took it from M11 Pro, which was really stupid. So this is actually Kain N3 Pro. And as you probably can imagine, there is something like Kain N3, but it doesn't resemble Kain N3 Pro at all. This is completely new dab if we're talking about the actual uh, similarities. Like, I think the only similarity is that it's it's small. Like, you, you see, this is the case for it. Like, this is the pre-order case because I've actually pre-ordered this thing. I'm, for the first time in my life, early adopter of anything. So, yeah, we're gonna open this. So, let's talk about uh, things. Why I have chosen this specific dab, uh, especially when I dropped the thing like a uh, few M11, which is actually pretty good. Uh, that is because this thing is really, really special. Like, we're talking uh, about the sun. Oh, hold up. This takes forever. Please open up. I have to help it. Okay. <sighs> Why it has to be in Comic Sans? Okay, but let's back to the topic. Why have I chosen this dab over many dabs? As I, as I said, like Fio M11 and all that stuff. A thing that is actually superior to Fio M11. Because I had like a very specific list of what I wanted in my dab, and one of them was actual size. This thing, X32, is small. This thing, N3 Pro, is, well, larger, but still really damn small. <laughs> and I was actually really tempted about the actual size. I'm gonna take the X2 X32 from the actual uh, case, and you see, this is literally centimeter by centimeter difference like m3 pro is larger okay but let's talk about what we're getting in the box because this is unboxing so you have transparent case you have a dab you have a usb-c cable which is normal you have a uh, high-res stickers if you like your high-res stickers i don't so i don't care uh the case the green case came with pre-order so you probably have to buy it separately if you're buying it now it's Roughly 30 bucks, uh, it depends on the region. And here we have Never Be The Same Again, uh, written in Comic Sans, which is terrible, obviously. But what we have inside is obviously a manual, which is in Chinese, but also it's in English, so, so it's fine. Case comes in green color, and this is pretty much the only color you can get for this case. Hold up, because it's really thick. Oh my god, it's actually really thick. This is the case. Uh, the case, oh, I got it upside down. This is the case. As you probably can see, uh, it has some metal at the back. And yes, this is a beautiful green case that shines with little gold. You probably cannot see this on the actual camera. And that's pretty much for talking about unboxing. I've unboxed everything I have here. So let's talk about the actual device. What is so special about it? This is... I think one of the three on this world, but I'm probably mistaken, so keep that into consideration. Tube dab. This dab has actual physical tubes inside. And we're not talking about, you know, uh, actual replaceable amps, like for example, Ibasu DX220 has. This thing has tubes inside of it. And the reason why I bought this specific dab is also that, you know, you have headphones, you have amps, and there are headphones that don't match with specific amps. Uh, so if you're reviewing stuff, you actually have to have uh, stuff that actually can match with those things. So you actually has to have a lots of amps, lots of, you know, dabs to actually check your IEMs and headphones. And with this thing, you're getting tubes, you're getting solid state, and you can actually get hybrid mode. So we have four different signatures that you can actually try your headphones and IEMs on in case when like, you know, solid state just doesn't sound good and then you're plugging tubes and tubes doesn't work good. So you're going with solid state. So yeah, that's pretty much the point why I bought this thing in the first place. 
So we gonna turn this thing on and of course a really satisfying feel. Oh yes. We're gonna put it in the case. So this is the actual M3 Pro in case. And it looks really nice, a part of that Comic Sans font. Okay, let's turn it on. Knob actually is also a button. Never be the same again. Language, and of course we're going for English. And this is uh, Kyan OS. This is not Android, this is proprietary uh, Kyan software. So you can't sideload your apps and all that stuff. This is just proprietary OS, because as Kyan stated many times on forums, this dApp is music specific, not feature specific, although we have plenty of features here. So we're talking about those tubes, I'm gonna uh, turn them on uh, in a second, so you're gonna see them glowing a little bit. Uh, we have 2A Bluetooth 5.0, so of course I have to put my micro SD card in this. So I'm gonna take the micro SD card from Xduo X32, and the thing is I also <laughs> have to upgrade this SD card because despite it being 128 gigs, uh, it's filled up already. So <laughs> yeah, I have to think about uh, upgrading it to something like 400 gigs, I guess. And I don't know where the actual... Don't tell me I have to take it off to... <sighs> so hold up, we're gonna put my... Oh, I think it's in. Micro SD card inserted. Okay. Let's see how long it take to scan this. I have 6,000 and... 350 tracks I think so yeah I want to scan music so at the moment when it's scanning like it took about two minutes to scan it like 3500 tracks which is pretty okay I guess uh, we're gonna see uh, other stuff that actually comes with this beautiful depth so we have type C line out 3.5 millimeter 3.5 millimeter single ended which is also the only output that outputs the tube sound uh, tube modes and then we have 4.4 millimeter balanced there we have uh, SD card slots, and then we have beautiful buttons, so we have knob, that obviously changes our volume, forward, backwards, play, pause, and also knob is the power button. Come on, 6303 songs. I actually love to tag my uh, songs, I love to put covers, and even when uh, a track does not have any sort of cover. I'm making them by myself and with x was the problem that it didn't really load all my covers, especially uh, my friend once made the mixtape, Christmas mixtape, and I've made a cover for it and unfortunately I couldn't see any of these beautiful beautiful covers I've made, so I'm gonna go to this one first, Xmas tape from Flowers. And I don't think I can can see them either, so let's see what child is this. Uh, no, I cannot see the cover, which is really sad. <laughs> okay, I probably have to figure this out somehow. So as you can see, there's a ring that have lit up to yellow, and that probably shows that we are playing 16-bit flag. So let's try to play MP3, because I have plenty of them, so don't worry, I'm gonna find them. Uh, really quick, L LQ, low quality, thank you, thank you Kane for saying me it's low quality, like, I really appreciate that, not really. Okay, I can actually see that this dev has problems with loading covers, like, those covers mostly are 500 by 500 pixels, but when you are scrolling those tracks, you mostly cannot see those covers really quick, which is kind of sad, but again, they focused it on, you know, music, and pretty much this thing, I think, uses the exact same processor as x 2 x 32 and that's not because they were trying to cut the actual price, this is because, as I remember, this is one of the very few processors that you can use with such proprietary OS's, and it's actually pretty compatible with most of these things. This is the game setting, and we have uh, high, medium, and low, I think? Come on, go back, yeah. Okay, so let's go with low decibels, because I'm mostly I'm using uh, IEMs. And we have solid state, and I want to go to tubes. Okay, after a few minutes of looking into the actual manual, I have found nothing, because you have to plug anything to 3.5 millimeter to actually turn on the uh, modes. So now we have tubes, and as I remember, we have to wait something like 15 seconds to get them warm. Okay, so you also have to like play anything to get them warm, so as you probably can see, or maybe can, there's like a slight glow. Uh, to be honest, uh, it's 
much brighter if we're talking about real life not on camera because this is you know reflective and i'm lighting everything up with this this beautiful like lamp so yeah it's not gonna be as powerful right now especially because that screen is really really bright i guess this is the time where we have to go and listen to stuff so right now i'm just gonna make some listening and i'll be back in like I don't know, 15, 30 minutes to tell you what my very first impressions are. Because, you know, this thing has to burn in. They're not like final impressions. They're gonna be in a, like full review, which gonna come out, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna listen to this thing right now. Okay, as you probably can imagine, these 15 to 30 minutes actually extended to next day, which is actually not the next day. It's three days later because finally I have my lens, I have my wireless mic system and we can make these first impressions properly. So what about the Kain M3 Pro? So as you probably can imagine, I was listening to it for three days because right now it's my daily driver. And I have to say, now if we're talking about interface from previous clips, probably you think that interface is not really user friendly. Uh, this is actually not true because you literally have to like fiddle with it for a moment and then uh, all the actual swipes, all the touches uh, became really familiar and they are really easy to use. Browsing feature, they are pretty standard and pretty okay. We have albums, genres, artists and pretty much the actual song uh, feature which I prefer because you know you're just getting the entire list of every single song you have on your DAP which is preferably for me when my favorite mode is actually shuffle. If we're talking about shuffle mode this is actually my favorite uh, because this is the shuffle mode that actually allows you to go back to tracks that were played before not like for example Luxury and Precision uh, that I have been testing like before uh, which basically means that you're gonna go forward, you're gonna go backwards, you're getting random songs. And for example, you skipped song that you wanted to listen, it's gone. With Kane and 3 Pro, you're just going back and you're getting the previous song. And for example, uh, when you go next, you're getting another random song. But if you're gonna get backwards, you're actually gonna uh, get this song that was after the song you actually wanted to go back to. If we're talking about noise levels, I only own two pair of IEMs that are pretty sensitive, but not as much as Andromeda, uh, which is IMR R2 and Blonde BLO3. And with those pairs, I couldn't hear any sort of noise at all. Now let's talk about start of the show, which are those tube modes. Let's start with the full tube mode. I have to say, I don't really like it in every single song I have. Uh, because yes, you're getting that 2B effect, but in most cases, especially with my pretty bassy IEMs, which are IMR R2, I'm getting too thick of a sound, like it literally falls apart, it, it sounds really fat, and most of the details are just gone. Yes, we're getting a little more of a sound stage and overall warm tone to actual songs, but it doesn't really work, especially with my uh, EDM tracks. But I gotta say, I really like this triad mode with rap and hip-hop, especially Eminem tracks. Like, it sounds really nice, especially with those older tracks, which are a little worse recorded. It actually gives more of an oomph and actual, like, realistic feeling to it, which sounds pretty nice. But if I would like to go with tubes and I would like to listen to orchestra or EDM, then I'm definitely going for ultralinear, which is hybrid with solid state and tube, because literally what it does, it gives you more of a warm tone, but there's not like this, that thick signature, because the actual detail in highs is preserved from that solid state, which sounds really nice, and overall it just sounds like it gives you some kind of a, like, open gate. Like you're basically opening a room and it allows you to spread out sounds more, which sounds pretty nice. But as I'm telling you, these impressions are after like eight hours of listening to this dab, so it can change significantly because, you know, burning and all that stuff, especially with tubes. So with that said, I'll actually tell you what I really think about this step, my new daily driver, in full review, which gonna come within a week or something, I don't really know. Make sure to like this video if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you like it as well, and don't forget about my Instagram, bitwool.film, where you can see my photos, and also you can DM me if you need some help or you would just like to talk. See you next time, bye!